on in, come on in, let's see. How is it? Hi guys, so this is the brand new 2020 Land Rover Defender. And we've got it here at the farm. Today I'm gonna share with you a little bit of review of how the 2020 Land Rover Defender is doing in Africa, in Ghana. So stay with me as I bring you this episode on if this can really survive in Africa. Hi guys welcome back I hope you enjoyed the ride um, so today I'm at the countryside of Ghana about 10 hours drive north so all the dustiness you're seeing is on the way to my village in the countryside so I want to promise you watching from all over the world that this is not all about Ghana right so I'm not representing the entire Ghana I'm driving outside the countryside which is like very rural and that is where the farm is as you can see i'm in the open with the uh, at the farm where the cattle are feeding and i mean i'm in the wild so pardon me about the wind i think today is very windy but that is not going to stop us on telling you about my new toy here at the farm right so let's get right into it why why land rover defender the land rover defender is it's a car that I've been warning for some time now and I want to take a step back so at this moment I'm here like about 10 hours um, from Accra which is the capital of Ghana but every week at least once I have to go to um, Accra and you guys know about the Jeep where it rolls perfectly on the farm but going every week every weekend to either Accra or coming here the Jeep can do that work so I needed a car that will be able to work at the farm perfectly you know without having fear but i can also take it to the city and be able to boil with the city guys right so i mean i was looking at the ford bronco i was looking at um the raptor as well but the land rover defender the first time i sat in the defender was um in a safari at mali where you know we jumped into a defender and right from there i loved it one thing i loved so much was the safari roof where i could see all the different animals through the roof the giraffe and so on um, and, and, and in Kenya as well was the second time and since then I've been in love with the Defender so in 2020 guess what Land Rover decided to bring a new version of the Land Rover Defender uh, it, its original um, manufacturer started somewhere in the 1940s over the years has been modified but this is completely different from that modification that has happened over the years this is new this is techy this is made for this generation and i'm so blessed and happy that i have one here at the farm today i want to show you guys what it's capable of what, what i love about it and if it's actually going to survive in africa because of the nature of our roads i know most people are doing a lot of videos and a lot of reviews and and mostly it's just they're using it to go um, off-roading in the weekend they're using it to go off-roading during their vacation but here in Africa we are off-roading every single day right our potholes are everywhere every time that we drive so it is very different if you're using this car for like off-roading once a week and so on somebody like me that I'm going to be driving from Brekum to Accra like every week and driving from my house to the farm every single day is this car going to be able to survive that and if so for how long and that's a question i don't know but i'm going to show you what this car is all about so if you don't know about the land rover defender let's start from the front here so what do i love about this car so the first thing is the bulkiness of this car right so i like bulky cars so this car just looking at it from the front the bulkiness gives me the satisfaction that i'm looking for right and then i love the the light so so these run lights 
at night so we're gonna switch it on and you can see and these are the signal lights they fit right into the box it is it is very rigid and i like this kind of stuff here you know that plastic feeling really made for like the 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 adventure sort of move that this car wants to represent because if any if i need to put anything on top or climb it i can literally stand on this easily and that takes away the luxurious Ness of it, the the normal SUV luxuriousness, right? So I love that Land Rover really did this. And then the vents. I mean, being scared about the dust, definitely knowing that this vent is here is really very helpful uh, for me. And actually bring that scariness a little bit low. Um, sorry about that, but um, as I said, we are in the farm, so different trucks passing and so on and so forth. The mirror very neatly done, like and then there we go so so this is like my childhood dreamer so that's that's the safari roof that it has right here we're gonna go into the interior very soon so that you can see how it actually looks once you're inside and then this boxiness here i don't know why land rover put it here but i guess it's just trying to portray the boxiness of the car which which i like and don't like as much um it's not too boxy so I'm very happy with it, you know. The reason why I didn't go in for the Ford Bronco is because I have the Jeep, but somehow this I want to be able to use it as a farm car and also driving in the city, right? So, so I like it. it I think it has a touch to the design, um, so I'm very happy with it. Then coming to the back here, um, definitely the side, and you know, looking at these small lights that are the signal lights, and we also have the um the back lights right so the back lights and the signal light all works together i'm going to show you guys that in a bit overall i love this design like this is this is an amazing design um i love it i love it i love the fact that you know there's also so many cameras about this this car if you, if you don't know so that's a reverse camera right down here right but here there is another camera here looking like a pen shape camera i don't know but i'm gonna take you guys inside and show you what that camera really is for so come with me let's, let's that. so these these are the doors the doors are heavy so anytime somebody sits in this car i have to tell them close the door again because it doesn't go it's so heavy so durable like every everything so the plastic i like the bolts like it really served that two purpose like i don't think if i look at this i'm like this is fancy this is nice but no this is also like the feeling that i want for a farmer you know this is also bringing it to the village and off-roading like things also give that feelings right and then all the various compartments um super super come over so if you want to get into the car so it has all these things that you can hold you know doing off-road and so on let me go on the other side and show you guys what that camera is about guys okay, so that fin shape on top of the car check it out so it's a camera and where is it that is the mirror so as you can see if you look inside the mirror you could see a lot of distractions so there is the back seat the tire and all what you have to do is literally flip this and then it gives you that camera view so throughout the two months that i've been using this car that's how i've been driving so it really gives you the view of the back so that you avoid all those um obstacles and so on so yeah now let's talk about the interior i mean let's look at the floor like everything is rubber right so you look at the, the cover is rubber down is rubber and if you look at how dirty it is but i'm very less concerned about this dirt because it's just going to wash away like the kind of work that i'm using for here is going to get dirty like every day every second but i'm not worried because it can easily be washed away and then the seat let's look at the seat so the seat has this plastic filling with this fabric here which is also looks like very easy to wash off right so the materials used or considered in building this car really is considering this sort of environment, considering the off-road, the dirt and the mats, right? And knowing that there's definitely going to be stains on this car, right? Um, let's, so, so that is the start, which is the start button. 
and then there we go it's all started um yeah so the steering wheel is my most favorite thing about this car it's very comfortable i like it and you know when i'm doing long journey i feel like it peels off and the driving stick is very simple very cute you basically just press here and then you move it forward it goes backwards and then it's able to like really direct very clear cameras um you push it backwards and then it goes into drive right and then there you go so let's look at the um, climate control so these are the climate controls right so it's 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 cool because you know this side is for the driver side this is for the passenger side at the front so each person can control like their temperature you know so if i want to be warm i know i like to be cold all the time when i'm driving but my wife always want to be warm sometimes so he we don't have to fight over this he can regulate his i can do mine and then the, the, the next cool thing is it is also like the same thing as the fan regulator right so you can use it to increase the the, the speed of the fan you know or decrease the speed of the fan which is amazing another thing i want to talk about here is the drive modes right so that sign right there is the drive mode and if you use the same climate control you're able to um, move the drive mode to different so what we have here is comfort mode i use that a lot when i'm traveling then so that's comfort program then there's gr um, grass and gravel you know snow which probably I'm not going to use mud. Definitely in the rainy season, I'm going to be driving in mud uh, program. And then there is sun, which I use a lot also here when I'm going on long journey on the rough road. Then there is the rock crawl, where literally when you're crawling through raw, it takes over like sort of like a self-driving car and crawls through the rocks for you, right? Um, and then what else? The last one is is the weight i'm going to speak more about the weight once we get into um this screen i'm going to take you to the menu and like we go through everything step by step but the weight is basically if you go driving through um a river or any source of water right um that is it so another cool thing that i want to talk about here is the air suspension so the ability of this car to raise up and give you enough like it's mind blowing and it's my second most favorite thing about this car so this button here you see so the moment you press on this button the car literally and instantly raises up and the massive as you can see massive air clearance it really gives to you um, at the bottom so if you're driving through places with rocks or stamps and you need that clearance you literally just press it and it's not like you have to wait for it to process and it goes up like straight away and once you're off that you just press it back and then it settles down and then you can lock it that is amazing like that will be so useful to me driving through you know all the farm going to the farm you know visiting different lands and so on so that is something i really love as well um media awesome like i play a lot of different music i love the fact that you can connect more than one phone um to this let's go to the menu right um so account the climate control definitely cameras let me show you this crazy thing so this this vehicle has 360 camera view right so right now it's looking at the front view but if i click here it gives me right hand side view if i click here give me on the right so you could see my door open you could see my surroundings if I click on the back it gives me the back you could see the cattle over there you could see the grass um, it's, it's crazy like I see everywhere that I need to see and that is literally the car right it gives me a 360 view of how this car is packed what is around the car so even if you're packed in a parking lot and you you're thinking about things that are behind you beside you you literally have to sit in your car and go around this and be able to see everything that is around this car off-roading the off-road cameras are also insane so the off-roading camera actually gives you like the tires so where every tire is passing in real life guys so basically if you're if you have stamps or sharpie rocks you're able to see it and dodge it 
that is amazing so drive forward for clear view so once you start driving it really shows you everything beside the car and and i would say for the tech side land rover has done an amazing job i mean it's it's it's, it's above my imagination and it's more than what i can ask for and it's meeting my demand in terms of um the the techie aspect of it so let's talk about weight so the weight sensing is the weight sensing is basically it gives you a level anytime that you're entering right anytime that you're entering into a river it actually measures the depth of the river and tells you if the car can go through or not and now we're looking at 0 0.8 meters and one good thing is the moment I raise my air suspension up, it also raises the depth that the car can go because like instantly it updates the car that now it's up so it can really cross this depth of water. Insane. Like for me as a farmer driving around, like going to the farm, going to different side, it's perfect. Like when I'm with this car, like I am not scared. I am not like worried about going to meet a river that I cannot cross or can cross. So another thing I want to talk to you about this car is the amount of charging spot overall in this car. At least about seven or eight different charging spots. I'm gonna take you guys through it. But let's focus on the in the front since we are still doing the front. So even here alone, I'm counting about one, two, three, four different charging spots. I know there is some at the back, there is some at the trunk, um, but I'm gonna take you guys through it all. The second thing is, is the space. It's crazy. Like, look at this. And it's all made with plastic and, and in a way that if you drop your phone there, it doesn't slip away, you know? So as you're driving in rough, rocky mud and shaking up and down, it still like sticks and it doesn't fall. So that is really well taught. And then I love the Defender engagement here gives it like it's, it makes it I don't know this car is just amazing right and and look at down here so I've seen many cars where there's a third seat here and if you don't request for the third seat what you get is even much cooler and better come come closer let me show you so so we have the compartment where I keep my nose bags and stuff um, you can either have a fridge here but I just have a compartment which is great and then if I remove this what you have is a wireless charger so if you're driving what you have to do is just put your phone here and it's just charging for you crazy right i'm gonna stack it in there for now and then i have my coffee mug holder i put my charger here and then below here i have all this space which is free so normally i have stuff like stuck all here right and then at the back of this screen where I've actually mounted my dash cam camera because I like filming, I like to record everything whilst I'm driving. It's also empty, like it's all the way empty. So if you want to hide something here, you can, but I've literally hide my cable here. I have space here where I put my wallet, my driving license, and then another space here. Like very spacious when I'm in this car. I have my sunglasses here, right? Really cool, maybe I should put them on. You know, like super, super amazing and impressed. The sound system on point. Like I, like I love the sound system too. The steering, I talked about it. Super, super comfy. I like using it. Um, yeah, but let's go to the back and then let me show you what we have in store at the back as well. All right. So even before I enter. Just the door. The door is very fascinating to me. I, I just love the door. But it's, it's it's just amazing. It has all the speakers. Very heavy, very rigid, just like the front door. Um, and you know, I'm glad they gave this handle. I wish they had this handle also at the front because the moment you use the air suspension and raises this vehicle, it's not easy to get in. My mom can get in, you know, without finding a place to hold. But I'm glad they brought this. You can't find this in your normal SUV, right? But it is here. Look at the space room, like massive, massive space room, you know? Like I, it's more comfortable. My wife likes to sit at the back than to sit in the front with me, which is very bad, right? But it's always wanting to sit at the back because it's so comfortable. And 
very spacious, right? So let's look at what we have here. So talking about chargers, let's count. So we have a charger, USB charger here. Um, we have two here, three here, four here, five. Crazy, we had N6, another one, right? So this is for kids in case they, they are using an iPad, you know, they could plug it in here and then hook um, the iPad stand or whatever they have here and then be able to use it like seven plus five we're looking at about 12 chargers already seen in this car amazing super spacious the back guys also have their own climate controls so as my wife and i are not fighting about climate controls these guys are not going to be fighting about climate controls as well because they get to adjust they get to adjust their own um temperature and and direct it for himself which is amazing i love it there's a cup holder, you know, for those of us who are going to have only two kids, you know, so that they can also have their cup holder and we don't use the, need to use the third seat. Here, you see a little bit of the, um, you know, the safari window, but not as much as if you're at the back. So I'm a bit, you know, upset about that because one day if I want to look at the, the window, I definitely want it to be extended here. So that i can also look at the giraffes and and the cool trees and so on right then you have your inner light too here uh, for you speakers or around like amazing i'm so impressed about the room and the fact that look at the floor there's nothing like carpet everything is plastic so if i take this car to the washing bay to get clean like everything should go there's nothing like you know dry cleaning or you know, I have to leave it there for two days because it needs to get dry. Everything here is plastic and therefore makes it very easy for us to wash. If you have kids or you're using it for like farm, dirty places, easy, easy peasy for you. So now let's look at the back. So guys, this car, I actually chose um, the seven seater. So we have an extra seat at the back and I want to show you guys. So you can either just hold this and like pull it forward or you can just do this, right? And together it goes. So once it goes, you can get it. Even here, like there's the plastic stuff here. So I have my air compressor to check my tiles, uh, my warning triangles. But look at what happens here. Super crazy. I don't have like what five children but if I do have five children you know and they have a cup holder as well there's a charging compartment here and they, they provided an airbag for even this seat which is very like great in terms of um, safety and then there is a seat belt amazing all right so we're gonna be talking about the trunk the boots the cargo area however you call it you know um, but my first question was like I, I thought initially when I saw this car I saw it on the way and I know it's too loud um, but when I, when I thought about this car I was like how come it doesn't lift upwards right but it rather opens to the right and I guess it's because it's a British car but it's very heavy to be lifted upwards so I think this is much safer but it opens to the right and this is what I'm talking about. This is after a day's ride from Accra to the farm, right? And this is what I get, the dirt. And that's what I'm worried about. If this car is going to survive three years of this dirt every single day, you know? So you might ask, where is the trunk? Once you open the seven seats, you lose more space from the trunk, right? And it's very easy for you to put it down. This rope so you just basically pulls it and then once you pull it it falls in right so you pull this and you push this and it falls so this then becomes your trunk right so what are some of the things so the trunk has charges too right so we have one charger here um, I think there is one somewhere else um, there's one here so once you don't have anybody sitting here you could literally use those um, if you're camping and stuff one thing i love so my my third coolest thing about this car is 
the towing system and this function so in case you want to put stuff in and the car is too tall or too short for you there is a function here where you literally press and you raises the boot so this is really raising the track for you to be able to lift whatever or if i'm hooking it by a track right i'm gonna put it down because i'm not gonna do anything so you basically press this and what happens is it just goes down right so let's say you have groceries that you want to push it in you know you just bring it as down as you can right and then you put everything back in that, that function alone is perfect because i know few years i'm going to be towing um cattles to kumasi to accra and this i'm looking forward into using this function into hooking my trailer to um this car so this is amazing um here at the door it gives you more room here to stop things there um i think i have a warning triangle in there which is very 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 amazing in terms of like um your tools and gadgets like everything is laid out here um this is the screw for um towing i took it off because i'm not using it but you basically open this and you screw it through um i'm not using it so i have my gear and everything and so the plasticness we talk about the rubber so look at this this you can pack whatever so i can put like you can put your dog i can put all the farming equipment and i'm not worried about scratching it you know or this getting spoiled look at it and you can see that the back seat has been done the same so that in case you want to fold it you're able to fold it and still put long things on it and you will still not ruin the seat so this is amazing and i'm very grateful for land rover um for making this work now i think we might want to go for a test drive right i know we, we've been driven a little bit but i want to drive it again and give you guys my full view what i feel how it feels like to drive this car right the power alone um i haven't talked about the engine so this is six the three table six cylinder and it's 400 horsepower crazy the, the power in this car is is, is not off putting like if i'm going to accra like the power of this car is, is amazing and 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 it's great it works perfectly for me i know there are different um there is a diesel engine but I'm doing the petrol, I'm doing the four, um, 400 horsepower and it works perfectly for me. So guys, let's get in and go for a spin. Wow guys, so we're driving the Land Rover Defender like 2020 on, on this rough road and this is um, the farm road where I am literally gonna be using this car every single day on this road. And that's why I have that question about the dustiness um, and, and is this, new tech super tech key car gonna be working on a day-to-day -day rough road like this every single day right but the feeling of driving this car is amazing like you see the, the rocks that i'm crawling through but you don't even feel it you know i have a jeep and and it's just too shaky like over shaky and i drive this car on this road and it's super comfortable like super relaxed and it's heavy i feel like i'm driving like a pickup like a truck you know and not just in a truck like a heavy truck like tundra like the ford um f-150 this is it's a heavy car like that's that's the, like one word that i would use to describe the feeling of this car like i'm not scared you know i don't feel like i'm gonna no it's not even bouncing me and it's super super comfortable and as i said one thing i love about it is the steering wheel the environment doesn't count when i'm in this car because it looks very comfortable um and then the camera is amazing so i use a lot of this um like the off-road mode uh, most of the time you know just to get my tires right when i'm in this rough road um and i'm gonna just go reverse for a second right so uh, these roads are very tiny right so if i want to make a u-turn here it's basically i'm going to be using this um reverse camera here to be able to navigate and be able to turn or go on the reverse and it's and it's just super super helpful um the gears are very easy to use um it's amazing like i'm still on the on road movement like i i'm loving this car 
I like I like the fact that you know if somebody's sitting here they could grab a hand like it's it's super amazing and I really really I don't think I have driven any car this comfortable in my life to be honest with you like the room space is perfect for me like I have my charger here like I have all my cables like I make use of everything right I know very few people um, so as you can see we're already at the farm you could see the cattle feeding but basically I don't think anybody is gonna use this car as rough and sorry to say Land Rover but you know like in this situation this is gonna be my daily use of this new Land Rover like this car is already super dirty as you can see but I'm loving every moment of it I'm gonna take this car to the washing um, bay after this and it will look as new as I bought it but so I'm not scared when I'm getting it dirty when you know when I'm driving through the mud or driving through the dust we are in the dry season here in Ghana so it's just soup a lot of dust everywhere I go people stepping in with dust and so on but the seats very comfy um, I like to set my drive modes where I have like long journey set up for the seat and you know how the seats adjust like it's amazing guys and if you are in Africa and thinking about a car that could could do the the rough road work that could go through the bushes and will also give you the comfort that you need so far I I will recommend this car this car has the luxury that I need to be able to travel outside the village and when I come here I'm not scared because every stain goes because of the plastic materials and rubber materials that is all over this car so I'm enjoying it and I hope you are too so let's get on in the farm um, and start work but thank you guys um, for watching and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up leave your comment but I'm not a techie guy as I said like a car review guy but this car I believe will serve the purpose of the work that I do and at the farm and that's why I got it and so far so good is doing amazing like look at where we are like and it's and it's doing perfectly fine if I'm driving any SUV I will have to be braking and like looking at my side and so on this car is doing the job for me and so far I'm happy with it maybe in a year or six months I'll do another review and see if the feeling is the same if I've encountered any changes but so far it's driving perfect I love the comfort I love the kind of roads we are able to go on and you know I'm satisfied with it so thank you for watching and if you have any questions or want to follow up um, this video is basically focused on you know people living in this continent in Africa and in Ghana who are considering getting this car and have worries um, I just want to show you I've done it and I'm still testing it I've owned this car for um, about two to two to three two months I would say two months and it's been perfect for me so yeah I hope you like the video and enjoy yourself and subscribe if you haven't